up, up there. Up, 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 up and away. By the way, I am for tea, pineapple, and pizza. I know that's controversy. Some people think it's bad. Well, I mean, they're allowed to have their opinions, and I'm kind of picky with vegetables. Birthday bead and cake jelly. Boom, 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 boom. And where you would expect boom, 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 you would hear like, or whatever. I don't know. You would hear. Look at the seven. Look at the seven. Hey guys, it's Editor B. And before we get to the intro, I want to tell you I'm doing something different for the background music for this episode. Instead of using the traditional royalty free music that I get from Incompetech, FreePD, and Silverman Sound Studios, or maybe Film Music. Io. I am going to use top tier, some of the you know the better ones, uh, uh, Incredible Box mods. So for this part of this episode, I will be using Mechanic from Cold Box. Hello, my friends. Welcome to. Pack of Valham and I bought the Life Season 3 Episode Season 3 Episode 2 Part 1 and go. Like Guy Fieri from Guy's Grocery Games. He has sneaky in addition to his the games, there's also the, the countdowns, pretty sneaky, a lot of them, he's talking and then in some way he says three and then in another way he says two and then, and then he says one and then go and oftentimes the contestants don't get it. Look at the previous part, so season three episode two part one, you can see the time and the date, right? We've got the record of the entire screen. And as you can see now that you compare them, you can see that I just finished recording for part one. I decided to continue recording for part two. Now how, now how much time did I waste on this intro? Three minutes? Oh, what? This felt longer to me than the part one intro. But that one was two minutes anyway. What's on the other side of the cyan pipe? Well, let's find out. Yes, there we go. Something bad will come out of there. Maybe. Uh, not sure if that's an icicle that'll fall or not, but maybe it is and it'll fall. Something bad will come out of there. They will somehow mess up with the bowl. Some kind of troll or something will make Dave go back into the pipe. Or maybe there will be a pass block and you have to go back in there. Let's say something bad come out of the invisible block in there. So I'm doing some help. I hate it! Hey, I was right, something bad did come out of that invisible block up, up, there, up, 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 and away. What was I expecting? I, what were you expecting? I didn't know what specifically, but I predicted something bad would come out of there. 
Sometimes you can't know unless you do. Did you think that would be correct? Yes. I wouldn't have hit it if I thought it was wrong. Mm -hmm. Are you sure about that? I'm pretty sure there are some times where you knew something was wrong and you did it anyway. Just to see what would happen or... I don't know. Sometimes you gotta do in troll levels. You do the opposite of what you think is right. Yeah, that's a fair statement. Your son said yes, good job. See, that's the kind of encouragement I'm looking for. This is not going to work. Aha! Well, I was gonna say, a bomb came out, of there, came out of there. Could could be bad, but in this case, it would be good to clear the path. However, it's the wrong path. Therefore, I kind of have to correct something bad to come out of there. Well, there's a hint screen to show you what you should do. I think they did not mess up with the oh, bowl. Alright, I ate some of those for lunch. Anyway, I. Uh... Oh, yeah, they're in that picture. Uh. Also, for lunch, I had the burger and I put Hula Joe's in it. So it was like, like a hamburger and. Hula Joe's. It's, it's like Floppy Joe's, but it's like bacon and pineapple in it. It's actually good. By the way, I have them for tea, pineapple, and pizza. I know that's controversy. Some people think that's bad. Well, I mean, they're allowed to have their opinions, and I'm kind of picky with vegetables. Anyway, I. It seems like they did something right there. And also, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm just gonna say that the bomb. I mean, all the boxes is actually not a bad thing, even though it opened it opened the path. The path ended up being wrong, but um, okay. And anyway, so that would be it's two each, so four, four for the total. This. One is a juicy pear or booger. You see that the stuff on it? I guess it came from another bee. I don't know. The next one. It moved. I'll, I'll just go with where it moved to. Birthday cake or dirty dish water. Well, I finally get to taste birthday bean and cake jelly. Birthday bean form. I'm not finding any out of what's open. So I'll just take that uh, this one in the front there. Are you going to eat Hula Joe's? No, I already had the one. You want a salmon burger? Or a salmon burger? No. Salmon burger? Salmon cake. There's two salmon cakes in the door. Yeah, okay. I'll take salmon cake. That'd be fine. Um, I'm getting ready to heat up the barbecue, and I didn't eat right. too much, at least not eating it. Okay, well, there are two in this packet. I'll just take this on. I don't know if that was in the front one. Okay. 
still don't know what that stuff is on there. But I'm gonna eat it. I guess that's booger. Every time, it's dirty dishwater. Yeah. Peter Barf! I guess that's it. That was on the outside of it. I can't tell that's a pair of bugger on the inside though. It's like I taste both. I'll just assume it's a bugger, I guess. Six minutes, almost seven minutes of this, this, I think this will be a long video. You guys hear the, <laughs> you guys hear the faint sound of a fiddle being played? the distance. <laughs> Dad would just like to say 171 is alive and well. Not 1.7. So if a violin and a fiddle are different names for the same instrument, it's not really a difference. I guess the violin is more for like classical pieces and then fiddle is more commonly used for folk and country where the folk is the L silent it yeah it could be would be silent so as you can see there's a general MIDI one instrument number 41 is violin but then it's in the strings group. What did they call them? Group? Or a family? Okay. Strings family includes violin. And down here there's fiddle number 111 in the ethnic family. What's the difference? Is there a slight difference in timbre? What's the. If 
the difference is timbre. How do you describe the, the difference in timbre between the violin and fiddle? Also, um, in also in the strings includes uh, okay strings includes timpani, which is percussion. There are no strings. Timpani are the, the big drums, like, like boom, 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 you see in the back of the orchestra. Because the back's where percussion is, usually. Well, I mean, violins, or, or, or strings, or the orchestral, and timpani is common in the orchestral, I guess that's why, but, I mean, you could, you could swap timpani and dulcimer. Now, dulcimer is in the chromatic percussion group, and the dulcimer does have strings, but it makes sense for the chromatic percussion because the strings are hit. So, percussion with, uh, typically with hammers, not carpentry hammers, but like specially made hammers similar to mallets, but, uh, but because there are strings, it, you could swap timpani and dulcimer. Well, I mean, might as well not do it now, that would mess up everything. Yeah. Well, I mean, yeah, imagine if they were suddenly swapped, and then you listen to an orchestral MIDI file, and where you would expect boom, 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 you would hear like, doo, 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 or whatever a dulcimer sounds like. Or maybe, you're, uh, maybe like a Celtic or, or something, and instead of... I don't know. You would hear. Boop, 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 boop. I think in general, MIDI level two, the strings family is renamed to orchestral solo or orchestra solo, which makes sense. Even though I think more strings were added, and I think if. I'm correct, the timpani is still the only one in that family that's not strong. What exactly is also, what is the difference be between number 55, synth voice, which is in the ensemble family, and number 86, lead 6 voice? One. Why did it stop? <laughs> you were saying? I'm saying watch this light. If I buzz in and get a correct answer, I get a f free pass for I don't know if it'll be one bean or two beans. If I get it wrong, but then get it wrong and two more beans. You know what? I'll make the free pass for two beans. Oh look at that. We're just talking about instruments a little bit ago. I, I'm, not, I'm not sure if I've even heard of that composer. Yeah, no way I would've gotten that. Oh! Number seven at the highest, which is diamond. Oh, um... Oh 
goes up to ten. Okay. But I did correctly remember diamonds on the, was the highest. What goes up to seven? Well, well, seven is neutral pH. Computer science major. Oh. Computer science major. This cancels the two beans I got for this geology question. Um, let's see. Quick difference between an array and a linked list. So, an array... Somewhere in memory, it's a block of memory, so consecutive memory ad addresses. Well, I mean, it depends on the size of the data. So the number of, so the amount of space taken by the array is the length of the array, so the number of elements times the size of it, so of each element. So say there's four byte integers, and and it's an array of five integers, and it'd be five times four. That's the number of bytes taken. So twenty. Um, and then you use can, you can quickly use an index. Now it can access any element with constant time since it's the same formula. You take the address of the array, so where the array starts. Then you have to add the offset, which or the index. It's the index, so which element times the size, so that you can know which byte. So uh, index 0 means you stay at the beginning, so where the array is, plus 0. And if you did 1, index 1, then it's 1 times the size of the data. It means it would start there at the second element. A linked list, or after you for an array, you have to keep things together. And if you want to add elements or move elements from the array, you to, or, or you might have to allocate new space, and then shift values over. But with a linked list, you have things called nodes. There's, so in the memory, in one place in memory of the linked list, there's a value and then the address of the next element. Or if it's doubly linked, it's also the address of previous element. So, or the next node is. So you have a node, and at one part of memory, the, so one part of the node has the value, the element, and then there's another part of it, is where is the next node in the list. Now, if you want to insert something in the middle of the list, or remove something in the middle of the list, that's much quicker than the arrays. You do not have to shift things. In a linked list, you just update the pointers. So, with an array, say you have a long array, there are a lot of elements there. If I want to remove this element, then I have to shift all of those over one. That'll take a long time. However, if there's a linked list, then that means this thing points to that thing, which points to that thing, etc. And by pointing, it just means it has the address. So where in memory is the next thing? If I want to remove this element, no shifting needed. All I have to do is make the previous element change its address to point to this one. And that's one that effectively removed. However, you can't just access random ones or whatever arbitrarily, like not as easily as an array. You would have to go through the pointer. So arrays and linked lists have their advantages and disadvantages. Also, linked lists take more memory. With an array, you can have just the elements and they're next to each other. With the linked list, you'd also have to have memory for the pointers. 
So whatever the site, the, the amount of memory taken for an address, times number of elements in the list. Now for the end of the list, the address is zero, which is null, which is like nothing, pointing to nothing to indicate that there's no more of the list, and that will be the end of the list. Watch my gray matter. Maybe I have, maybe I'm supposed to do this? Does that somehow move something? Okay. See? They've got mold. Watch and learn, baby. We're gonna chill over here. Ha ha! Oh, there's a door down there. Don't suck. But what I will do is save the rest of this for next time, or I remember many more times I need. I'm just going to have um, a choice. Later me with the beans can see the outro again, or editor me could just reuse the outro. Why are adverts so loud? I don't know, I've not watched that video yet. Well, apparently there's no troll that sent Dave back through the cyan pipe, so to beads. Or not to beads, that's the question. Well, the answer is to beads. Toasted marshmallow or stink bug? AKA okay, skunk bar fright. Alright, as you can see, by hand is empty. No green screen on the wall or anything. There's no bean in my hand. Suddenly, there is a bean in here. To spin again. Go. If I already had two of those, well, it would be a third one this time. It would be a juicy thing. Or it could seem like that I have absolutely no more of these anywhere. So I'll spin again. And I was. Actually, it's closest to. This one, so I'll just go. Strawberry banana smoothie or dead fish? I 
Yeah, I think this is it. Stick bug or skunk bar. Hey, let's both start with start the post S B Stink Bug? Skunk Barf. I think the only good bean I've had in the video is Peach. Now, not forget the outro this time. If you're a smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And if you're a genius, click the like button. Just. If you're a smart. If, you, if you're a smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. And you will see me next time. And until then, take care. And of course, it would be after I made that recording when I find two of the beads that I was looking for during the recording. It's, uh, this one and that one next to each other. And of course, I finished that recording and I find one more.